So you want to know a dirty little secret? Say yes! The holidays aren't really the holy days. <gasps> Let me explain. Passover, or if you're Hebrew, Pesach, is celebrated on the 14th day of the first month according to the biblical calendar, which is usually between March and April. I know you have questions. Of course! Let's start back off in Egypt. Now Pharaoh, trying to be the tough guy, saw that the Hebrews were starting to outnumber his people. And what was his response? To force them into slavery, and to agree that every son born to the Hebrews should be drowned in the Nile. Bruh. One baby, however, was saved. Moses. And was adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now when Moses grows up, Yahuwah commands him to go to Pharaoh and to tell him to let his people go. Can anybody tell me what Pharaoh said? Uh, no. That was the wrong answer. And then proceeds the ten plagues. What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! During the tenth and final plague, Yahuwah passes through the land of Egypt and strikes down the firstborn of every household. But the Israelites have been told to mark their doors with the blood of the lamb they've sacrificed. The Passover offering. And so Yahuwah passes over their homes. Pharaoh's son is killed during this final plague. And as a result, Pharaoh lets the Israelites go free before changing his mind, as pharaohs do. The ensued chase ends up with Moses being trapped in front of the Red Sea before it's parted by Yahuwah for the Israelites to cross, the act of divine intervention that finally leads them to freedom and, after 40 years in the desert, to the Promised Land. <laughs> we did it! We did it! <laughs> yes! Wait a minute now. We have a lot more to cover. Oh, slow down. Hold on there. There are a few key points we need to go over before we start celebrating Passover. You gonna learn today! First off, we need to understand that Yahushua is now our Passover lamb, and the Passover we celebrate today is in remembrance of him. The rest of what I'm about to say needs to be studied out by you, the viewer. Get your Bible, read through Exodus and Deuteronomy, think about it, and read it another ten times, because I can guarantee you didn't fully understand the first time. Now some people celebrate Passover by preparing a Seder meal, which contains bitter herbs, a lamb shank, some fruits, and whatnot. Some others celebrate by roasting a lamb and eating unleavened bread with bitter herbs and wine. Now the majority like to put on a bunny costume in search of eggs and eat glazed ham. Don't do that. That's like a slap in Yahuwah's face. And if you read Exodus and Deuteronomy like you were supposed to, you'd understand why. <laughs> Moving on. Another hot topic is whether men need to be circumcised to celebrate the Passover. And to this I say, read Exodus and Deuteronomy again. But also include Romans, because Paul teaches on this subject. In this day and age as followers of Yahushua, the best we can do is study and try our best to do what is pleasing to our father Yahuwah. We may not get things completely right, but the fact that we are trying, I believe, means something. Let the Ruach lead you and continue to study. Shalom.